Spending your gems in the drown here, someone gods, is very, very important thing since the gems is not coming that easy. Sometimes you solve the whole puzzle and at the end you get like three gems. And some of the items are very expensive, so you have to be definitely careful with these gems. And don't spend them very stupid. I make this video just to show you my personal opinion over the gems. Of course, you can leave comments below and show your personal perspective over the gems and how you spent your gems. Like this, we're going to help more people and this is very important. So we build little community and help ourselves and each other with some tips, tricks. Of course, everybody have to take everything with a ground of salt. Is this a best one or maybe this is the best thing these players see? But anyway, this is my personal opinion. And the first place, uh, okay, I will say one mistake I made back in the days. I'm ashamed of this, but I I'm going to say it. Back in the days, I spent all my gems for getting Staminas. Now, doing dungeons, gathering gear and stuff like this is going to be very expensive. So, when you go for your dungeon, you get like... Every day the stamina is so hard to be regenerated and it is what it is. I mean, you get like 120. Right now, my cap of my stamina is 150. But you get some stamina, you need gear, you need uh, some crystals uh, for your heroes to be promoted. You need a lot of goblin lair. Let's be serious. To, to proceed in the Dragon Hair Summon Gods, you need a lot of Goblin Lair. I hear some people did it like 500 times in the Season 1 and I, I think this is an average. But anyway, let me know in the comments how many times you did a Goblin Lair in the Season 1 and if you're in Season 1, how many times till these days you did the Goblin Lair. But anyway, Goblin Lair is something that's going to consume uh, stamina. Here to get some shards of these juicy ice crystals or maybe you want to go for radiant crystals it didn't actually matter to promote your heroes is going to consume stamina grape of venom uh, all these uh, grapes is going to consume stamina and they consume 15 stamina it's not only 10 stamina of course heretical runes ascent battlefield and stuff like this is also going to consume a lot of stamina so at one point your heroes to have some kind of gear and uh, maybe some uh, get some chest you you get the idea all these beautiful things cost stamina so in the previous season i spent all of my gems or maybe like 70 or 80 percent of my gems just buying stamina and i think this is a huge mistake since in the season two i lost all the gears i lost all the runes everything only the artifacts was there and I think this one big uh, mistake. So in this video, yeah, I'm going to show you how I'm going to proceed with my stamina. So the first thing is first, always check your card. Try to improve your level of your card because sometimes there is a hidden jewel inside. What I mean by that is right now we have this thing, but from here I got a uh, legendary screw that was like 60% uh, uh, 60% off also helios dice i get pretty decent stuffs from this card so the way you can do it is just go at the upgrade stuff over here for the craft and you're going to see which level you have to go for it so unlock goods at craft level 6 level 5 you get the idea you're going to just need to track where to get this uh craft stuffs same for the forging to open the um forge level four to forge your legendary gear you have to go for this hammer and the game is pretty decently created so you can see from where you can get a specific thing and this is export tafta through and you can see where you can actually go and export this tafta is over here attempts available so i have to go there clean this mess and get some get this hammer to improve my uh to improve my card and of course my forge so this is a good place especially the card where you can get some great benefits and great stuff to buy with gems and this is one of the places that i definitely suggest everybody look when they walk and if there is a good item just go for it period just go for it the other good place where you can spend your gems is of course on summons on summons you can go and 
there was a season two exclusive summon where you have you can make uh 20 summons and every 10 summons you're going to get a legendary hero since the percentage of the legendary hero let's be honest i mean if we see the summoning details is for legendary is three percent i don't know if you can see it yet that you definitely see it is three percent legendary epic is 17 percent still there is absolutely great heroes from the epic side borish uh is one of my best heroes i use him everywhere garios is the second hero i use everywhere absolutely great epic heroes but for legendary since uh, let's be honest the legendary is the heroes that we're looking for and with legendary we can increase our power by a what it's other topic that getting scrolls to level up the legendary hero spells is so so hard it's not like the epic one but yeah again this is a topic for the other video so from leg so three percent to get the legendary i strongly suggest just go and try to get um some helios dice now you can get them from progression you can get them by gems if you click the plus, you're going to be presented with this window and you can buy one, two, five, depending how many uh, from this Helios dice uh, you need. And definitely save your Helios dice for the Perfect Fit event. By Perfect Fit event, I mean an uh, event that the rewards for your Helios dice. Oh my God, what happened here? <laughs> the rewards from your Helios dice is going to be at maximum. And again, I give, I give this example season two exclusive. There was no timer and you only have to do 20 Helios dice summoning to get the two legendary heroes. My personal work with this uh, two summons was one of the heroes that helped me a lot everywhere. This is Karl. I'm so happy with this hero. And the second one is this one that I'm not so sure I can pronounce his name. Stegamorphin. And Stegamorphin have also pretty decent spell. First of all, the captain of this guy is 20% increasing the damage in all battles. That include Arena. And also is having pretty decent ultimate, applying some debuffs. I can go over this hero, but yeah, for now, just this is the two heroes I get from the season two um, summoning. This 20 summoning with the two guarantee legendary hero. So this is the other place where, where you can definitely go and spend your gems. This is for the Helios dice. Now, the next place where you can go with your gems is clicking in the right corner and you can go for store. You are going to, you have to go at the daily supply store. Here you can get Helios dice. This is absolutely the normal price for the Helios dice if you just click the plus on the summoning on the Helios dice. But here you can get some screws. You can get some of these epic screws, uh, legendary screws. You can go to go get some stamina. It's only 60 stamina, 50 gems. I mean, you get um, five with 300 stamina in cost of one Helios dice summoning. I think this is a not good offer, but you can see different stuffs from here that you can actually buy with your gems. And on the final place is, of course, just going and getting uh, some stamina from the getting some stamina if you're at a point where you need little more gear where are you in point where you need some runes you need something as upgrade you're at the end of the game even though even in this case i strongly suggest going for summons but if for some reason you want to spend gems on stamina i don't suggest to do it and actually spend that much stamina there let's be honest stamina is every day you're going to receive stamina it's not much i de definitely it's not much i mean with this stamina you cannot do that much in this game i walk in the morning i have some stamina i make like seven or nine or maybe ten battles in the grave of venom for example I get some gear and this is it. <laughs> I have to go at the end of the day and play again to get some stamina. I don't know how fast this stamina is going to is regenerated. Maybe every minute, every 30 seconds, every two minutes. I'm not so familiar with this, but definitely stamina is the worst thing you want to buy with your gems. Huge mistake from my side back in the days. But it is what it is, boys. People are learning from their mistakes. 
so yeah let me know in the comments where you spent your gems again just to help our community here the people who is uh, reading the comments and writing the comments just to be helpful you know just to be helpful for the other people so yeah i guess this will be for this video guys i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments your personal opinion don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel and like the video if this video actually provides you some kind of value to you and see you in the next video.